Um, so one question is, to what extent should we believe in black magic being so common nowadays, especially back home? Black magic is mentioned in the Quran, in verse number 102, chapter 2, Surah Al-Baqarah. فَيَتَعَلَّمُونَ مِنْهُمَا مَا يُفَرِّقُونَ بِهِ بَيْنَ الْمَرْءِ وَزَوْجَهِ It is mentioned in the Quran. So who in his right mind would object to it? It's also mentioned in Sahih Al-Bukhari that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had a spell casted upon him. And it was mentioned that he was cured by getting the spell out and it was burnt. It was done by Labid ibn al-Asam who was a Jew. So there is no doubt in the existence of black magic. However, the doubt is in a lot of the Muslims heads when they tend to blame everything on such supernatural uh, uh, phenomena. So, my boss hates my guts. He doesn't give me an increment or a raise. I think there is an evil eye. My kid flunked his second year in medical school. I, this, I think this is envy. My wife is nagging all the day. Mashallah, she speaks like 23 hours and 59 minutes a day, nonstop. I think she's possessed by jinn. And my mother-in-law always comes at the wrong times to my home and she spends like three months without nonstop. I think this is black magic. No, this is totally bogus. This is our faults and shortcomings. When we are unable to justify them or solve them, we tend to blame these things over them. And there's nothing like that. Yes, they exist. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, akhi, who would have the power to do black magic just to uh, do such trivial things? Let them go to Israel. <laughs> do some black magic there, do some jinn possession, do whatever you want, akhi. Inshallah, I will not say it's halal, but yani, give us a break. If it can solve problems, it would have solved problems. Yes, we do uh, yani, um, uh, acknowledge. And I've seen this and I've been through cases like this where newlywed would not be able to function due to something like that. And the guy is, uh, one of them came to me, but I don't want to waste your time. Anyhow, this is beside the point. I get someone tapping my shoulders, it's like we have this time. No, continue. This story sounds really intriguing. I can finish my lecture. <laughs> So, a guy came to me some years ago, called me on the phone. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam. Talab al Nabunayna Sheikh, I have a problem. I got married two months ago. I've, I'm unable to consummate my marriage. I said, well, maybe you have impotency problems. Go to see the doctor. He said, said Sheikh, I'm as strong as a bull. I'm 21 years old. SubhanAllah. Maybe your house is filled with haram and movies and music and shaitan is overwhelming you. Sheikh, I am studying and teaching Quran in Medina Masjid of the Prophet in the Tahfid circles. So, whoa, this guy is high rank, more high ranking than, than me. So I said, Akhi, this is not natural, but I think that you have either jinn or magic in you. I don't know. So, Sheikh, can you do ruqya to me? That was on the phone. I said, if I do ruqya on you, all the jinn in me will come to you. <laughs> Believe me, trust me, you don't want this. But I'll advise you to do something. He's in Medina. Make your ihram and go to Mecca and do tawaf and, and sa'i, do your umrah, cut your hair, come back to the Kaaba, pray two rak'ahs, raise your hands in the, near the Kaaba, in, 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 in the haram, and say, Oh Allah, I'm helpless. I have no one to turn to, and there's no one on earth could, who could cure me except you. Oh Allah, I'm not leaving until I'm cured. And praise Allah, offer salutation upon the Prophet and give dua from your, the bottom of your heart. And wallahi, you will be fine. Jazakallah khair, Jazakallah khair. That was like 10 o'clock or 8 o'clock in the evening. Following morning, 
about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock in the morning, I get a call, Salam Alaikum, Alaikum Salam. May Allah reward you, he makes dua, like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard this. Do you have money? <laughs> so he's making dua, making dua. I said, Akhi, who are you? I don't remember, I get gazillion calls a day. He says, I called you yesterday, but oh yeah, yeah, I remember now. So, when are you coming? He said, oh Sheikh, the moment I hung up, I drove five hours to Mecca. Did my Umrah in a couple of hours, drove back another five hours, that's 12 hours on the road, and the moment I reached home, I consummated the marriage. But this is better than Viagra. I, I should try this. Subhanallah, if you believe, Wallahi, nothing can stand in your way. All what you have to do is trust Allah, rely on Him, depend on Him. We have a problem on depending on our biceps, on our strength, on our intellect, on our degree, on who you know, not what you know. Not depending on Allah Azza wa Jal. The moment a child falls sick, what's the first thing you do? Doctor, doctor, please help my child, he has this fever. Real Muslims start with Ruqya. And then they go to the emergency room. Trust Allah Azza wa Jal. So what was the question to begin with? <laughs> Okay, black magic. So does it exist? It does exist. It does exist without any doubt and Allah knows best.